Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 3 of uh, I've Been Killing Slimes at the Edge of You. It's a messed up my level. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm about to just call this show Slime Killing. Because <laughs> that's what I titled the fucking video when I edit it. No, I call it like Slime Killing Witch. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. Well, you know, honey, I think you might be meeting an elf this week. <laughs> Let me guess, are you an elf? <laughs> you kind of sound like Uzuki, but no, I don't think so. Bowser. <laughs> Yeah, she is. I honestly really want merch of the slimes. I'm just saying. Because, like, the slimes are honestly the cutest thing about this damn show. Besides, like, the characters themselves. Because, I mean, yes. The twins. The twins are fucking cute. Like, I psh, I would buy, like, so much fucking merch of them. Look at them. They're so fucking adorable. Like, oh my god. I will kill for them. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I kill for all these characters. All right, Miss Aoyuki, how are you going to make me laugh this week? <clears throat> Haruka? Oh. Yeah. But see, because see, alright, I'm thinking about something else. Isn't Bells of Us supposed to be part of the Persona series? Because that the big, nasty ass bug. <laughs> oh. So it's like an energy drink, basically. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sad day. Oh, shit. <laughs> what 
Well, I mean, hold up. Why haven't you just gone to talk to her and say it's a big old misunderstanding, but probably you have, and it just got worse, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well. Oh, my God. Doesn't that look like a little small on her? <laughs> like, yep, yeah, can we get her some? There we go. I mean, well, no, that's just Azusa. But can we get her some better clothes, please? <laughs> she might be like the loca of um of this series if we're giving like Kobayashi vibes. Are you okay? So you haven't had a really good home cooked meal in a while. Mushrooms, the heck? Oh, cool. It kind of looks like soy sauce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. <laughs> the color and then like the texture. Is it because of the mushroom she ate? Uh huh. Uh. Uh, we get that, but. Yeah. Poor baby. Yeah, she did eat one. Hmm? Oh god, she's gonna make her horny.
Was that really necessary? <laughs> you don't want to know. Let's just say someone just got really, really happy. A little bit lewd, but... Eh. <laughs> Good. See, I'm not one for mushrooms like that, because, like, uh, my mom likes to eat it now on pizza. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I just, mm, I don't like the texture of it. It just, it does not, it, it don't go with me. And as someone who has been a vegetarian ever since the beginning of this year now, I'm like, <laughs> No. Well, you know, maybe we should just turn her in. Mm -hmm. Um, how it up? Ever since the beginning, because I didn't even think about it. There's a bug. She turned herself into a fucking bug. No. Yeah, right there. Right there. Mm hmm No, I don't think that's a filthy little fly. That wasn't her. Oh, she pretty. Idiot sandwich vibes. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> mm. 
Let's see, if Hattaka would just explain the situation, she ain't got to worry about all this bullshit, but no. You know, Belzebub, you're not going to fall in love with Azusa too, are you? Because, I mean, you know, I don't know if this harm is big enough for this house. <laughs> we going to fight outside the house, though? Are you okay? We forgot about the barrier. I, I, yeah, because I think that took a lot out of her. Uh oh. Gonna give her something to feel better. That's a good question. I, you know, mm, it might hurt her rather than heal her. We need to talk. Big old misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how she she's adorable, just you know, mm. <laughs> misunderstanding in a nutshell for her. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, you gonna live here too? Seriously, is this house big enough? I know we got a lot of rooms. Do we need to make a third floor or a fourth floor? Oh. 
<laughs> well, you know, how old are you exactly? <laughs> you gotta love when kids are so curious and they want to ask everything. So this should be every, no, we're missing like one other person from the opening. Mm. Like, oh, why? Time out. Time out. Hold on. Like, oh, you've been with us since the beginning. All the adventures that we've gone in. This is only really episode three. But you want to go home. Why? I, I thought you enjoyed it here with them. I, I, is it because you don't get to be a dragon all the time? You're, you know, you're going back and forth between being an actual dragon and then a dragon human hybrid. Like, you know, Toru from Kobayashi. Even though, you know, her tail doesn't pop up or anything like, you know, Toru or Ish. Yeah, what you want to go home for? Maybe she wants to study something or whatever but something tells me that since she wants to go home next week I think Azusa is gonna probably doing everything in her power to make like a stay with her because they're a family and family stays together and of course they have to have like some conflict before what the final chick of the group comes because this isn't everybody we're mi yeah, we're missing the purple hair girl and the other blonde chick. That's it. So we're missing like two other girls. So I'm guessing they're not going to come until after um, <clears throat> this next episode. But yeah, our two new little, you know, roommates. Technically one kind of. Everyone's interesting. I mean, honestly. But like, both of them. What the fuck? Oh, that's like, oh, no. What the hell? I, I just, I can't. Those two, uh, <laughs> an elf and a demon, what the absolute fuck. I mean, especially how our elf, you know, did a big, a big old misunderstanding in a nutshell. But yeah, I think every single time when I see her in, like, these next few episodes, I'm like, mm -hmm, what misunderstanding are you going to fuck up today? Because <laughs> there, there's fucking up, and then there's really fucking up, and, and then there's just her. And she ha she's in her own category. That's it. Big old misunderstandings in a nutshell for her. But she is really, honestly, her and Belzebub are freaking adorable. Like, oh, I wasn't expecting to see Belzebub so quickly, though. I mean, because this is only really um, episode three. So I was expecting to see her at least four, five, or six. But it's interesting. And it makes me wonder, like, with the last two, if they're going to be here by episode four five and it makes you wonder like okay if everybody is truly going to be living together let's say by episode five episode six how is the second half of this show gonna go i mean because like yeah we're doing like cute little fun shit every single week and honestly i love that but i'm ready to see like um as i've been saying for the last two weeks um for them to kind of go on a journey we kind of got it today with you know um how and as i said going to go like get mushrooms technically but does that really count in my book a little bit of yeah and a little bit of no I, I mean like when I say go on a journey like you go to another town <laughs> or something you you take a break you go on a vacation I would honestly really love to see everybody in this quote-unquote harem um <laughs> go on a cute little family vacay and it might happen I just think it's not going to truly happen until everybody officially joins the family group the dynamic and everything and then is there, and then you know I was just like yeah let's go on a vacation and everyone's like yes let's go and then it's gonna be so fucking cute and funny and adorable and I'm just gonna be like oh, my baby it's like oh uh. but everybody like really truly shined in this episode the fact that you know Buzz Above came in as a mother effing fly from the beginning of this episode to <laughs> 
few minutes and then she gets the only way to defeat her is because you know what because honestly <laughs> that ish reminded me of it's a moment in the movie a bug's life where uh somebody puts out one of those like metal uh or electric um Oh my god. The the things basically that kill bugs. And so one of the bugs was like super attracted to the light. Because of course bugs are going to be attracted to something. And they're going to swarm over it. And <laughs> he couldn't help it. But in the end he died. And I don't know why I got feels from that. Because she's like going up, up, up. But she doesn't know that the freaking barrier was there. Hell, I forgot about the barrier. I mean because she was coming in as a bug. It was easy because she didn't get hurt. But because she came in as a regular, you know, demon and such, and she's flying and shit, and it's like, oh shit, hey, there, the barrier's still up there. Oh, she don't know. And I'd be like, yeet. And we're like, oh damn, you alright? Mm. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to me towards episode three of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years and Maxed Out My Level. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. Bye, guys.